Good morning to all my friends and family and welcome, welcome to Jim's 5am club. I've got to tell you, I've had a, uh, a technical sort of glitch this morning. I've broken my selfie stick. <laughs> my selfie stick's broken, it's gone, it's damaged, it's uh, kaput. So I'm going to have to do a different style of vlog. It's going to be a walk and talk, but I'll be holding the camera so uh, bear with me today until I get a replacement selfie stick. I've got a couple at home but uh, we'll see how we go. As you can see it's a brilliant spring day. The sun is uh, warm already and I'm down here at Circular Quay on the International Passenger Terminal and what I'll do is I'll just walk up to the uh, to the end here where we can get the harbour bridge in the background because I've got the sun coming up in the east so I'll try and get a bit of uh, sun on my face and we'll talk about a topic that I've got near and dear to my heart a real nice topic I really enjoy this topic and this topic is all about investing in your identity so what do you think about that investing in your identity we always think about doing things in our lives, but sometimes we, uh, we don't think seriously about doing stuff about ourselves. You know, we're happy to sacrifice ourselves or sacrifice things for our friends, our family, our bosses, um, our community, for a charity, for everything else in the world. But what we fail to do is we fail to invest in our own identity which is a bit of a challenge because unless unless you take some time to invest in you you Inc unless you take some time to invest in you then uh, you're not going to be able to uh, grow develop and expand your capabilities your strengths your influences to be able to help those around you. It's nice here. There you go, got the bridge in the background. So uh, what do you think of that? I'll just take a seat here as well. So I'll do a sit and vlog today. There you go. I'm nice and comfortable now. So let's get back on topic. I'll put my foot up. Let's get back on topic and chat about the importance in, in, in investing in our identity. So uh, the big question that I've uh, come across is we have 168 hours a week. Each and every one of us has the same time allotment every week, 168 hours. So the, uh, the question that uh, I came across in a book that I read, I forget which book it was, but uh, let's just let's just run with it for the time being is that uh, how many hours do you spend out of that 168 on investing in your identity investing in yourself investing in your health and investing in your uh, in your circle your life circle of uh, identities of uh, of characters of roles so I want you to think about this. How many hours do you spend a week on reading? And I must admit, over the past decade, I've noticed fewer people reading uh, books and material in a structured form. But I do see a lot more people on devices. But I don't know on those devices what they're downloading is it music? Is it pods? Are they reading things or are they just um, flicking through Instagram, Facebook and Tinder just uh, superficially getting by? So the question that you need to ponder, especially the young people, how much time do you spend reading? How much time do you spend, do you spend listening to podcasts? Um, and personal development material 
like in the old days it used to be tapes and CDs, whereas now it's podcasts and things like that. How much time have you spent attending seminars or catching up with networks and groups of like-minded people where you share empowering messages and learn from each other's experiences, um, knowledge, wisdoms, and mix with people from different generations where you can sit around a table and exchange ideas and uh, stress test your opinions, stress test your ideas and understand how things worked in the past and how some of those things are still relevant today. And the, other, and the last one is, most importantly, how much time have you spent or do you spend associating with high identity individuals? People who have spent time working on themselves, have invested time in reading um, and listening to tapes and attending seminars and who are teachers or people who are willing to share their experiences, their knowledge, their wisdom with you and the broader community. It's a big question. Dare I say that uh, for most people, you know, we go home, we just plonk ourselves in front of the TV and just, becomes, just become receptors of whatever, whatever, whatever rubbish comes through the television screen or if we're listening to music then we just put it on a playlist that we seem to listen to every day and listen to the same old song over and over again without thinking deeply without thinking critically and just taking other people's opinions as being uh, reality and being um, um, the truth and just living in anxiety and pain Uh, yeah, so I got this material from a book called Doing the Impossible and the author is Patrick Bet David. So I was wondering where it came from, but uh, I've got it on my note here that it's come from that wonderful book, Doing the Impossible. I love that book. It is jam-packed with uh, information and, uh, and stuff which is deeply, deeply thought-provoking and uh, can get you on your way, can get you thinking about the stuff that's important not only, not only to you but also to the people around you your kids your partners your work peers so it's only when you start listening and learning and gaining access to OPE other people's experience that you see that there's another world out there another world another reality another way of seeing things, another way of viewing things, a way of viewing things in an empowering way as opposed to a, a disempowering way, a way of assessing uh, your life and the, the, the world around you in a way which is, will give you strength as opposed to uh, drain you of all your strength. And the last question and this is a really, really powerful one and a confronting one. So please don't get offended if, um, if it hits a raw chord. But the last question here is, how do you expect, how do you honestly re expect to grow, develop, if you don't do anything deliberate to help you grow and develop? We've said time and time again, nobody's going to come and tap you on the shoulder and take you under their wing. Nobody's going to uh, offer you the job of a lifetime. Nobody's going to in in introduce you to a broker or an investment advisor that's going to help you um, get your financial affairs in order. Very, very few people are going to take interest in you specifically to help you on your path in life unless 
you take that, uh, that leadership role and do it yourself. The important thing is to become your own advisor. To, uh, to get to try and get people around you to model but there is a litany of material out there in terms of books, in terms of uh, groups that you can attend, uh, tapes that you can listen to, vlogs that you can listen to, to teach you uh, life hacks so that you're able to make better sense of the world around you and the world around us and to get, get through each day because we each, each and every well each and every one of us have challenges there's no doubt about it but if you're not doing something deliberate to help you grow and develop and help you solve the challenges then you'll get overwhelmed and you won't be able to do anything about it so the author um, basically has a call to action and that call to action is to invest in your identity. Take some time, spend some money, read on a regular basis. As Anthony Robbins says, miss out on meal time, miss out on exercise time, but don't dare miss out on your reading time, where you're reading and gaining access to other people's experience, as long as, of course, the things that you're gaining access to are empowering and are not going to uh, lead you down the garden path and uh, mess you up. So it's a, it's a call to action to take effort, to invest time, to buy books. There are lots of beautiful books out there. There are groups. And the important thing is to get a, a, a good mix of groups. Um, so that you uh, grow and expand in all the different areas of your life. You need to mix with people who are social. You need to mix with people who are educated. You need to mix with people who, uh, who exercise, who, uh, who take pride and work hard on their uh, physical health and capabilities. You need to hang out with people who, uh, who have, good, have a good time. You need to mix with people who are spiritual and uh, can, can help us grow and develop from a spiritual perspective. We need to invest in all areas because we need a balance in our lives. And unless you have a balance, then you're going to have challenges. So let me start walking back to work. My arm's getting a bit uh, sore at the moment <laughs> by holding up this iPhone 12 Pro Max showing off. Do you know if anybody else has got a Pro Max at the moment? An iPhone 12. I think I'm the only one that uh, that I know at the moment. But uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful tool, tool, and it's uh, something which I enjoy using for my uh, Jim's 5am vlogs. Anyway, let's finish off with a positive affirmation. I'm alive. I am well, and I feel absolutely great. To my friends and family, stay connected, stay relevant, and most importantly, let's. Decide now, decide right now to invest in our identities where we read more, listen to more and, uh, and basically take charge of growing and developing not only ourselves but also helping our families and our friends and other people around us um, be empowered and uh, emboldened with some positive um, strength um, uh, assisting um, 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 I guess support is, is a good way of saying it being supportive of each other anyway thank you very much and I look forward to coming to you again tomorrow from another location with another message another empowering message and a selfie stick so that I can uh, get a bit more distance between the camera and me and also uh, give my arm a bit of a rest. <laughs> Take care, Sagapao, I love you. From Jim's 5am Club. Until we meet again, stay safe, stay healthy, 
and uh, stay alive and go live. Go live with your life and make the most of every opportunity. Bye.